And today we're looking at the home of Tracy Ellis Ross, the daughter of Hollywood royalty, Diana Ross. This home is located in Hollywood Hills. It's three stories, built in 1937, Spanish style home with 2,540 square feet, three bedrooms and three baths. Now she paid 910,000 for this home 10 years ago and is now listed for 2.395 million. Take a moment to press like, subscribe, and I'll be back with a tour of this home. This 1930s home has style, charisma, and also has a guest apartment out back as well. It includes a gym and it has four lemon trees. That's what Tracy shared with Vogue. There's a nice little porch here, and I'm assuming this is the actual guest apartment, or I guess it could be called a mother-in-law suite, who knows? But it's a whole other uh, structure on the property. Uh, that you can enjoy as well. Here at the entry, we have the uh, original encaustic in tile stairs. Very, very, very Spanish. Just look at the designs on the windows over there, and, and it's very Spanish. Now, into the living room, 25 foot long step living room. Um, has the original fireplace. There are treetop views out the window. Um, it used to be have a warm shade of navy, but for, to sell that she painted the walls white, keep it neutral. You know, people need to be able to see themselves in the home rather than um, your personal touches that you choose to make. Here again, we see those encaustic tile stairs again, little step, steps up. Um, she used to have her uh, college sofa in this home as well, uh, that she, she kept reupholstering it. Now this kitchen is it's a little disappointing to me, I'm sorry. I don't care for it. Um, vintage cabinets, ceramic tile, very small, super small, no dishwasher. So I guess Miss Tracy Ellis was washing herself, washing dishes, old school stove, or maybe her assistant, who knows, all right? But there's no space in here whatsoever. I don't see how you do any, any cooking in this place. And here's her little breakfast nook with decent views, large windows as well. Now, she also has a home or had an apartment in Manhattan in New York, but she sold that a little over a year ago. So I'm very curious as to where she's going now, or where she is now. Now, the dining room, I like the table. The table gives a little more character. You have your, your uh, look um, up around the ceiling, the, the, the molding. That's cool. Um, what do you think? Ooh, now, this is probably my favorite room thus far, this office. Amazing views, beautiful white. I wonder if it was white when she was in it or if this was blue as well. But this does not match the rest of the house to me. This is more of a modern contemporary view. Um, the master bedroom, beautiful. Uh, tall ceilings, access to the to a patio, a balcony rather, outside the door with hardwood floors. I can dig it. I can dig this part. Living room, kitchen, not so much. The bedrooms, this other bedroom here, I like the bedrooms. Um, there's access to outside on this one too. That's kind of an old school thing. Old houses have these back doors. You got your bay window over there as well. I don't mind it. This is very vintage. Now uh, this is very Hollywood. You get to sit out on this patio, balcony, and look out. You get the trees there. You get your lemon trees. You get to look out over the neighborhood. This is freaking cool. And people probably had no idea Tracy Ellis Ross was living up here. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go ahead and um, we're gonna we have to rate this home. On a scale from one to 10, one being awful, 10 being amazing. And we call it the insider rating. And we have the rating from one to 10 again. So I'm gonna give it a rating, you give it a rating. And let's just be honest, based on our personal tastes. Love the space, by the way. Love that, that's serene, very serene. So I give this home, oh, that's ugly, I'm sorry. That's very ugly. Anyway, I give it, <laughs> that room is cantilevered over backyard that's interesting but i'd be a little nervous about that this house has been so old the bones of it may not be as strong as they used to be but i give this home a four yep haven't given a four in a long time but i gotta give it a floor four i don't i don't only thing i even remotely liked was the the bedrooms but what about you i want to hear from you what do you rate this home on a scale from one to ten 
put your rating in the comments below, and I might shout you out in a future video. And I think that's all. I think that's it. We're done. I'm Lam, the Real Estate Insider. Be sure to hit like, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you at the next one. I'm Lam, the Real Estate Insider. Peace out. Don't wanna be stuck in a spot Cause I don't really